Hello again everybody, welcome back to you and I play the Binding of Isaac after birth. Daily run. Just me. Just you. Isaac, D6, Curse of Bind, we're going to, I think that's the, the negative there, so we're going to whatever the negative rep is. That was a really, really good start. Whatever the negative rep is. Oh my god, I hate this room already. Let this room never exist again. Those fights, actually. Come on, watch this. That's much easier. Uh, okay, so that was a bad start. We're not on the next self floor. We're on the Curse of the Blind floor, which is probably no good. These pennies are nice. Uh, I think that's a negative. I think that means we're going to... just have to beat Satan. No, that's the lamb, so we're going to have to get strong. Don't hold out much hope for this run because I'm playing so badly. It's been a couple of days since I last played, as you know, because there have not been a couple of episodes up. For a couple of days. We got Dr. Vetus, so now we're fucked. <laughs> At least we can blow everything up. Let's just take everything out of the pocket. This is a daily run, so the score's going to be important. And uh, well done to everybody who's ballsy enough to re-roll the first blind item. Dr. Vetus used to start off reasonably... Um, Poor in terms of damage. Looks like that's actually improved. Range down. Okay. Oops. There is a tinted rock in there. With a bloody chest in it that we can't do anything with. Come on, game. Well, we've got the worst of every world so far. We don't know whether we want to reroll this item, and it's almost certainly going to be passive, so. So, <laughs> I suppose. I've uh, got nothing to say about it. We just take it, I guess. Don't know what it is. Pick it up. Health. Safety pin. That's decent. That's decent. Does give us the black heart. Uh, which was kind of what we were blowing up tinted drops to try and achieve. But slightly better, because black hearts. Oh, revenge hearts. That was pretty good. Oh, yeah. See, all these things are great. If you don't have epic fetus. Well, not even epic fetus. It's Dr. Fetus. Freshman. Come on now. Explode, please. These are as bad as the nubs in the womb. Jeez Louise. At least they stick around a bit longer. Ow. A whole heart? Come on, game. Why are you so tiny? Uh, so I guess we're hoping for bomb synergies. There's not a lot more we can do. It's not like we can have awesome tear effects. Maybe, um, maybe piercing shot? Will actually pierce help help help. <laughs> this is a thing we use. And we get the key and we re-roll and we get the wafer, which will carry us a very long way. Wafer makes sure that every single hit that you take does only half a heart not damage. Even on the womb and beyond. Uh, which is uh, where baby Buzz Lightyear's first intrepid explorations were. Ah, uh, very good. Well done. Just ruin your deal with a double chance. With your own fucking bomb. Okay, it's a time of spider got me. This is not going to go well because I really, really hate Dr. Fetus as an item. Uh, having things, these, these shots that are very difficult to aim and that can hurt you. I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, it is <laughs> less than ideal. Although we can get a secret room, so we should probably think in those terms. And we are on a cellar! We also on a cellar, so there's way more spiders. Everything's harder, I hate everything. We can get all consumables, we can get all the secret rooms. And we can get all the crawl spaces, apparently. It's gonna be a crawl space, we will find it. Am I gonna really do this room just to get the ghost baby? Blow up, thank you. Apparently yes. Even though it costs us points, which we are suffering on. I don't imagine a good score, even if we do succeed. Uh, I'm going to put that out there. I know it sounds a little bit like I'm sandbagging, blah blah blah. You know, it's, it's, a, it's not sandbagging, it's realism. It's realism. You know, if you think you're going to do badly, and it's looking like you're going to do badly, say it. Um, I will be surprised if we do well with this setup, but we could get powerful. We could get something like a speed upgrade, yeah. Um, we didn't actually go into that secret room, but 
Uh, Pyromaniac would be amazing. Uh, Eternal Heart would be great. Wait, if that's the shop... Well, we've got a double key room, so we might as well see what's in there. Is that the secret room down there? No. Over here, then, I suppose. Excuse me. Excuse me. So I want to put the bomb here, but I can't. There we go. Our range is great. So re-rolling a range upgrade into... Oof. I'm going to do this more likely. Rolling, re-rolling the range upgrade into a... What did we roll into? A speed upgrade. It is actually beneficial. Speed is not a hugely important stat, but... It's not... <laughs> it's not something to... You know, just ignore. Okay, well, phooey. You're not going to stick... You're not going to sneeze at it, if that's the thing people really do. You're going to turn your nose up at some extra HP. Uh, extra speed. Or HP, but... We've got the HP sorted, I think. We just need to make sure that we don't take that Spirit Hearts with the damage on the next floor, because that's going to be our undoing. I'm expecting that the deals with the devil on this uh, are going to be valuable. Going to be important, rather than just valuable. So we need to make sure that these bombs get far away enough from us to not hurt us. Which is the challenge of them. Especially on a room like this. And there's bonies all of a sudden. Ooh. A bomb. Valuable. Not. Ah. See that? Turnaround is fair play. It's a very 90s form of turnaround. Bullshit. Ah, maybe. Mm, I think we take it. Maybe we'll be looking for some sort of... Ooh, sack boy. Some sort of invincibility item in the future. Uh, I'd like to be over there, please. Thank you. That's very good. Oh, <laughs> uh, ballsy plate. Nope, went wrong. Okay. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. The important thing is to keep getting spirit hearts at random out of iron chests. Uh, the important thing is to not give up. Bad gas. Oh. Didn't hurt us, so I'm happy with it. The important thing is to not feel like you've already lost, and therefore, you know, stop. So what gets us a good score on this? Well, not taking any more dumb damage would be a brilliant start. Like that nearly was. Blow up. Thank you. Uh, not picking up useless items like that is. No Krampus? No, but there's an Incubus, so watch out for that. Well, there's our deal with the devil carrying us. Had. Uh, two hearts. Ah, uh, I'm kind of tempted to go and find a reroll for this piece of crap, actually. Ooh. Our uh, epic feet uh, Dr. Feeter shots are only taking our one level of. What did I have? Remember how to speak. Look, it's been a couple of days since I last recorded any videos, since I last had to speak to anybody who I couldn't s see hiccuping. So. Just bear with me, okay? Uh, I'm going to go and try and... I don't know if there's going to be enough actual rooms. But I'd like to re-roll Caffeine Pill, because I don't think a speed upgrade and a pill are that valuable. Not great. Still not great. Look. <laughs> Apparently we got a lot of money out of it, so that's good. It means we can pick up the thing that I wanted to pick up. And I forgot what it was. Ah, Sack Boy. Okay, sack Boy is a... I think it's Sack Boy, anyway. Decent item, or makes not all consumables, but a significant quantity of consumables become um, sacks. Hmm. It's in the name. Don't know why I forgot it so readily. What's in here? Not really worth the time, I think. We've got two rooms left, and they're likely to contain combat, so I think we're all right on the uh, get a reroll plan. Operation. Reroll the shit out of that piece of crap item we had before. And there's this too. Okay, D6 plus D20. This is a pheromone. Well, there's a, that is a reroll available for us right now. Can we do this? And then this. Yes. Now, 
We can also probably do this sort of thing. Oh, we've been hitting over here because we can... Difficult to remember that uh, Dr. Fetus shots can go over gaps. We'll open and we'll get a lot of consumable and we'll walk on that. I think it's just you know, you got to pay penance to the to Orange Jesus. There we go. It may not have been worth the time it took me to do it, but I spent the time it took me to do it. So what do you want, the guards? And you can I'll use it now. Day guards. I am denied because I wasn't sure whether I wanted to keep this dice shard, and I decided that I do because if we don't like what the D6 rolls into, rolls the um the the caffeine pill into, we can use it again. I know there's a battery charge all the way back there, but it's I'm gonna say that it's not worth the backtracking to re-roll the caffeine pill three times. And if we do like what it re-rolls into, then we'll just take it and we've got the dice shard for the next floor. Uh, we do. Next. We probably need to think about doing boss rush, even though we have got Dr. Fetus going on. Uh, why? Because it's worth 4,444 points. I, I learned that either boss rush or hush will get you uh, points. Hush is 5,555 points. Um. But it's considerably more difficult and takes a lot longer and it's more likely to cause you damage. It would cause me damage, I suppose I should say. As a result, I think the 4,000 points you get for boss rush is worth more than the 5,000 you get for doing... I think we've got enough coins for doing hush. I'm not going to bother with those coins. I know there are a few points each, but you know when you've been maxing on points to that level, you've already lost. And we're not here to really min-max... There's a small... I, I appreciate the competition in the game uh, that you get from, uh, from from the dailies with the worldwide leaderboards, but that's just more of a friendly competition than is than it is, uh, I suppose, uh, the aim of the game. Let's try and get rid of these two, and then you can wake up any time. Please. Ah... Oh. I don't have anything except these shots and ghost baby to deal with this thing. Please. Okay. What? Now there's two of them! <laughs> oh, that's even worse. Change. Explode. Pop up. Pop up. Explode. That is a dick of a room. My keyboard decided I didn't want to press... Oh, apparently I can't press tab and two keys at the same time. Modern technology for you. Apparently our universal serial bus is not capable of transmitting that much data. Or maybe Windows is not capable of simple driving. Come on! Actually, now think about it. This is an ancient keyboard. It's PS2. I know what you're thinking. PlayStation 2. Yeah. Uh, we can probably get this. Do we want to, after all this effort? I'm invested. Uh, what does this do? Endless nameless. I'm stuck in the loop. I don't know, but Swallow Penny is done as well, but I think we don't really need it anymore. Don't forget we've got Midas Touch as well, so if we really want to, we can just go walking into enemies to cause them damage. Have we found our item? Yeah. Which, and by the way, I'm pleased that there is one. Although, I still don't think we're doing quite as well as we did on that lost room. We didn't have any item rooms, we just started with the Holy Mantle and that was it. What a fantastic run. Yeah, let's talk about past runs because there's nothing to say about this present day ah! run, except that I keep blowing myself up with these goddamn epic fetus shots. I don't think there was a way we could have um, avoided the epic fetus play. It's not like there was a day guards room in, in that particular floor or anything. Let's get these in whilst we're far away and we've got the range. Because he's going to do this attack twice. There we go. Excellent. Oh yeah, get hit. Good job. We'll take that. Uh, I don't really feel like re-rolling it. I want to say the re-roll for whatever is in our shitty item room, wherever the hell that is. Oh, that was close. Okay. Uh, Isaac Pro Tips. One, don't walk on spikes. Two, don't walk on spikes. Three, don't get hit. Four, 
I don't know if you can hear that gurgling in the background. I made the mistake of putting the dishwasher on just before I recorded the episode. Yeah, professional. Oh, bad trip, thanks. Here we go. I'm expecting to find the secret room. Here. I'm expecting to actually find the secret room on account of how we can blow everything up. Please die, thank you. I can't believe Ghost Baby actually got that kill just now. And here's Sister Magnuson. Thank you. Chocolate milk? Does this do anything? It massively increases our tears. Okay. I'm, I'm down with that. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. I am super happy with that. Super happy. I'm going to take the battery. I'm going to take the battery. I know I took uh, chocolate milk, so I don't really need that battery. So that was probably a silly thing to do. Let's move on. I am slightly out of practice. So I'm going to make a couple of misplays. This is my excuse. This is good. If you're wondering what I did there, I used a dice shard. I rerolled all the consumables. Ow. What? Does this hurt every time? No. Rosary bead. I don't think that other thing is doing anything. Not not noticeable for... Ooh, chariot. That could be very useful. I don't think the... The... the uh, trinket. That continuum type trinket. I don't think it did anything with bombs. One of the things about... Uh, Epic Fetus. Doctor Fetus. And Epic Fetus, actually. Is that you easily find that you just lose out on a lot of synergies. Now, it's, in fairness to Afterbirth, Edmund and Tyrone, etc. They have put a lot of... Oh, shit. Careful. <laughs> a lot of new... Uh, yeah, we don't want this. A lot of new bomb synergies actually now work with... Bollocks. That's <laughs> even worse. With, uh, with with Dr. Fetus. It's a lot more exciting than it used to be, but compared to the range of tear effects that you get, I mean, it even overrides Brimstone, as far as I know. This, this particular fellow up here. Ooh, spiders. I yeah. <laughs> don't think we even get the points for killing spiders that, or enemies at all that spawn outside of... spawn after the room has started, basically. You don't get any points from like, if you could just leave, you're not going to get bonus points for killing. Hello? There's another one. Now, the reason I picked up the battery is that it's a really, really good item with the D6. And the reason for that is that you tend to use the D6 twice per floor. Maximum. And as you go along, the floors get longer. So, after about the caves, you're quite likely to get two rerolls on one floor, especially if you came down with one. Uh, I know it makes it sound like a disease. Brilliant, good time. Uh, and as you go further along, you more and more end up getting more and more uh, rerolls per floor. You don't want to use them at the same time. You're not going to go six rooms, reroll, six rooms, reroll. So being able to do 12 rooms re-roll. Uh, we'll buy him. The Bible. Blank card. <laughs> Blank card chariot could actually be better for us than the D6. I think it will be. Why? Especially with um, with the battery here. Hello? We can... Bloody flies on these rooms. Sticky babies is nice. Um, we can use our Midas Touch. Ah, bet you thought I'd forgotten. Twice on a difficult room. Like a boss. Like a boss. Like a boss. Uh, or twice on two difficult rooms. Two less difficult rooms, obviously, but difficult nonetheless. A small victory. Victory nonetheless. I was wondering about doing a series on oh Darkest Dungeon because it's kind of fun, but I don't know if people are just sort of getting a bit bored with it. Maybe I think our familiars are killing things before I can get around to it, which is kind of nice. Blank card, Picano? No. I'm going to take the damage on the way out. We've got the wafer, don't forget. Um, but I figured since we had two chariot cards, we might as well save half a heart, right? 
Well, the boss must be this way. We've done this entire floor and wasted all this goddamn time. This is depths one. Dank depths one, no less. Bad gas. Not not uh, a huge payout. <laughs> I missed the, the blood bank, so I took the damage on the spikes. Difference being, of course, that I took spirit heart damage instead of red heart damage. So I don't think we're going to do boss rush. Uh, I'm not going to sweat it. Um, the reason I don't think we're going to do boss rush is that we're really sweat. And we're not very powerful, so we can't really necessarily actually succeed in boss rush. And it's very difficult to actually play the game when all you've got are bombs that are basically impossible to aim. As evidenced by the fact that I can't hit these motherfuckers. Where's the other guy? There guy? Excellent. It's possible that we can make it, uh, and we could potentially rush the next floor. I suppose that's why it's called Boss Rush. Ah, see. They didn't think I was paying attention. Gish is too tanky for my bombs. We haven't had enough of a damage upgrade. We've got plenty of tears upgrades, so we're shooting a lot of bombs, but they interact with each other, so having a fast rate of bombs is not... Oh, of course we're still Gish, I knew that. A fast rate of bombs is not valuable. You want a fast rate of damage. What? I'm trying to make sense, dear boy. So, Juicy Sack and Little Gish, between them, are going to... Ging to, or going to, greatly assist with our ability to damage enemies because they're going to slow them the fuck down. Uh, I will go back. Expect. If we can find our boss, that'd be tremendous. Good. Apparently, I'm not going to go back for that. Key. I have a strong suspicion that we will end up having to go back for that key anyway. And I think. I have beaten this room before our peeper got an opportunity. Yeah, we can't do a boss rush on account of how it's now 20 minutes past already. That's okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting to do well. And for once, not expecting to do well. Oh, okay. We're doing this, are we? There we go. Let's go. There we go. Uh, not expecting to do well has been correct. Oh, well. So, bomb's a uh, pretty hard counter old chub over there. On account of how chub hate smoke, I don't know if you, don't know if you knew that chub hate smoke, but uh, yeah, apparently chub hate smoke, so there you go. Splendid. Excuse me? Plus, getting the bombs to be near the bad guy and then explode there too. There's a royal pain in the arse. I don't really care about that pill. Not immediately, anyway. Okay, I avoided that. Somehow. Probably uh, get out of here for free. I'm tempted to. Blank card, stars. Blank card, Yara. Hmm. Just use it. <laughs> Do we want blank card, Yara? The chariot. Tell you, we'll take the chariot card. We'll get out of here with our Yara. And there's another chariot card if we decide we want to Yara a room here somewhere. Now, since we're going down rather than up, he popped into his mic. Uh, we don't really get so much benefit out of the Yara room. And this is a five room, which I expect everybody will take. If anybody has gone fast enough to do boss rush twice, well, I expect that you only get the bones for it once, to be honest. But well done. Absolutely well done. I, I have obviously not got the option to do it even once. Oh, not extra fucking baggy. That has literally ruined everything. Oh my god, that's the worst thing ever. Well, now we're fucked. The world, world card will do that. So now all of our... Hmm, oh, the secret room is not there. Why don't you pay more attention to what's happening? All of our wonderful blank card plays have turned into pills, which is genuinely the worst thing that could ever happen to us. Uh, I walked over that and then I was at this guy and I thought, you know what? Play the guy. Pill, of course. Extra baggy, little baggy is just the worst <laughs> fucking item. I hate it. I hate it so much. 
because pills are almost never good compared to cards. For a start, you don't know what they do when you first pick them up. Bumbo want coin. Uh, okay. Bad gas. Until the first time you use them, one makes you smaller. Cool. I found, I found pills. pills. See? What is the point in that? I didn't know what it did. I took it. Because I had it. You know? In bird in the hand, etc. We don't have our chariot card, which I was going to use to get through this bloody room. I don't even know what Bumbo does. Is it like Bumfriend? Oh my god. Can we please get on with it? A few Python sketches. That was actually pretty good. One bomb made up for the entire room so far. Let's uh, avoid these things. Careful. This is the sort of room you just have to figure out through trial and error. You're gonna blow up or what? Jinkies. We don't even have our D6 anymore, which is just the worst thing. Dead onion. Do they go through? Yes. So now, at least, bombs aren't gonna bounce off stuff. Hurt us. Well, maybe the walls, but... And, uh, brilliant, we managed to save all the keys that are left, which is none of them. Let's see if we can get something out here, shall we? We got... Blood bag. Okay. I think that's worthwhile. I'm not anticipating having a very strong score at the end of this. Uh, okay, I didn't pick that up. I do want to pick it up, I just didn't. Oh. Pick that up. We'll fight Mom. We can't get out. Oh, that was stupid. I was about to say, we'll fight Mom, and then we'll go back to the five room. Can't get out. So many people have probably made the mistake I just made. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, out of practice, I should have played a couple of runs beforehand, but I didn't. Normally I warm up on a greed mode on my other save, the one that I had since uh, I was born. Since I was allowed my hereditary save file. Uh, just to <laughs> just to remember how to damn play the damn game. These things not bouncing off the enemies is actually turning out to make a larger difference than I would have anticipated. Especially since I don't know where Mom's going to be at any point. So we just have to sort of leave the... Really? That's the negative, obviously. And this is bullshit, obviously. Breath of fucking life. It's actually slightly better than the blank card, but I'm going to take the blank card because fuck everything. I'm getting a little bit salty, a little bit despondent, but I'm not getting giddy uppy. I'm just getting resigned, if you see what I mean. Ooh, this could be good. Uh, it could be good, but it turned out not to be. Two bad gas pills. I might as well have a pheromones pill, goodness me. I spend all my points on fucking... as many of those. Can I not get shoved to eat these bombs? Spend all my points on swapping items over and over because I can't apparently decide on what's, what I actually want. I'll do. Good. I have no use of blank card, but I have no other spacebar item. Maybe we'll fight Conquest. That's a, that would be a very good upgrade for us. Uh, at this stage. There we go. Please, please. Let's. I can't. <laughs> I can't stop the bombs on the enemies anymore. It used to be my, you know, my go-to play. Get the bomb to hit the enemy. Stop on the enemy and do damage to them. Not anymore. Come on. Dude, bro. So we've been cursed of the blinded into sh the shits, right? We've been absolutely cursed of the blind fucked over, which happens. But not to this great extent. It's usually either Doctor or Epic Fetus that fucks you over as well. I'm just going to put these down here. Like, there is a tinted one, actually. Might as well do this room, eh? Help. <laughs> no. Apparently. I apologise for my uh, schoolboy manner of expressing mirth, but also dismay, which is where you sort of blow raspberries into the microphone, apparently. 
how, to, how are you even supposed to deal with this shit? Just throw all the bombs everywhere. Run around in circles. How did I avoid that? Very impressed that I did, but nevertheless. What is this thing doing? Look at him. Get over there and bloody blow up. Something else hit it, and I didn't take damage from that. Just keep firing. <laughs> I may look like I've given up, but I haven't. Um, I think that bump friend thing can actually happen. All the bombs that it wants. Uh, bombs? Coins. It can have as many bombs as it wants as well, but it can have as many coins as it wants, is what I was specifically thinking. Uh, this will only cost me half a heart to go in. This is worthwhile. And this is good. We did not get our sack boy in the end. What was that? Bad trick. Not not great. I didn't, did I? Ceremonial robes is uh, probably quite good for us. At least it got us out of the room for free. For what it's worth. So, oh, God, no. Everything died. Thank you. You. Good. And then you. Fudge. Okay. Maybe the bomb thing was entirely because those things don't spend long enough popped up. So when you end up with Epic Fetus and those uh, hosts on a room. Oh shit. That happened. He just ended up. At least the bombs explode more quickly now, is what I'm suggesting. Oh look, he's just shooting. He just hangs around firing. <laughs> what the hell? How is that even remotely useful to anybody? So this is one of those runs where you just feel like it doesn't matter how well you play. Especially, of course, if you stand on the spikes, uh, on the on the creep like I did, then yes, I can stand it. You might want to say something like, uh, actually, a lot of your play right now is going into the horrendous nature of your run. Okay, you have a good point. You know, if I took a lot less damage, I would be a lot less damaged. Uh, hello? Oh, crap. But at the same time, you only take less damage when you're not literally exploding things in front of your own face in order to try and damage your enemies. It's almost a pyrrhic victory going on here. Provided it's a victory at all. See? How is this a victory? Successfully overcome all my adversaries and myself. Well done. Our range is actually too high. You don't tend to think of range upgrades as being detrimental. Lo and behold, they can be. Could have just left, actually. We could just spam our way through all these rooms. We've got bad gas and pheromones. Tell you what, let's go and get that other pheromones pill. This, this is going to help more than bad gas is ever going to help, in my opinion, anyway. And my opinion is correct, because it's mine. Pretty sure there's a secret room around here somewhere. Excuse me. I don't want to be there. Help. So our range is so great, we can't actually get the bombs to stop near the things that we're trying to explode. Uh, but I can get the bombs to stop near me, which is not the thing I'm trying to explode. So it's actually worse than it seems. That was alright. Oh, please, if there's anything that cancels out Epic Dr. Thesis, then let it be here now. At least this thing's easy with it. There we go. Question marks. Health up. Fuck off. Okay. Boss is here, and there's a tiny turret, and I can't actually... Hooray! Excuse me. It's not like you can press a button more gently than you would normally, right? No, on a... On an analog controller, you press the button gently, you do a short range attack. Fuck. <laughs> it's just so difficult not to hit yourself. I'm just going to do this a lot. Hey, it worked. Everything stop exploding. Do I want this? Sure. Range plus luck upgrade. Well, what was I saying about range? Yes, it's the most wonderful thing in the world. We're at 32 minutes, so we're not even going to be able to do a hush. 
Again, I'm okay with this. I feel like this was a run that we weren't really going to have a chance on. Uh, with which I am fine. So let me do this and this. Good job. Uh, there's probably... Yeah. Oh yeah, really good. Tremendous. Money? Fine. Boss trap room. Millions of keys. Bucket. Steven, damage up and... I see for once I would have preferred little Steven. But okay. This is... <laughs> I guess we just stack up the HP and hope for the best. The more red hearts we have, the more red hearts we can... Ow, fill up. Did we pick up Gimpy? I think we did. Did we? Maybe I was watching a Northern Mine run and have stolen his memories. Uh, maybe we didn't. But we did get... Little... I'm trying to figure out why there's so many red hearts lying on. It's abnormal. This is not fun. Uh, I say it's not fun. It is, of course, more fun than not doing it would be. It is a computer game, and it's supposed to be a challenge whilst an entertaining pastime. I won't go in there because it's going to cost me the two. It's going to cost me my. Oh God, help! <laughs> How am I supposed to get that? Good, 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 good. Whew. It's going to cost me my eternal heart as well. I was trying to say. I'm pretty sure we don't actually need that, so I'm not going to take it. I will take this. And that's a uh, brown. Ooh. Okay. Stay calm. The run has gone a lot further than you anticipated it going when you picked up Dr. Fetus in the first case. What the hell is that thing? Oh, it's you. Because it's dark. I got confused and scared. Well, this sort of thing. So we go like this, and then. How the fudge am I supposed to get you nearby, I think? Well, what we do is we hope for the best that uh, attack fly, uh, pretty fly tanks the damage, apparently. I wouldn't recommend doing it that way. What I would recommend is, you know, just being mildly more skillful at the game than I was, and simply succeeding at attacking the enemy. These new attacks are weird. Uh, small room? Why not? Boom. Great. Not holding out a whole lot of hope for keeping hold of this eternal heart until the, the end of the mom's heart fight. Creep gun? Yes. Another feature of the colorblind mod, by the way, is that there's no... Um, no fuzz on the wound. What happened? <laughs> I'm so busy looking over there. Yeah, the, the stuff that makes the wound more fuzzy and difficult to see. He's gone. Look at this thing. It's getting very really powerful. What happens when it gets huge? Good. Might let him have all the coins. Why not? Another forget me now. Is it worth doing it on this floor? I'm gonna go in no. It's like my second chance, but no, I blew it. I took Doctor Fetus, and I blew my chance to. Oh, he's just just uh ch chasing him down like like. Oh, I'm so excited I can't speak. He's chasing him down like a like a, a meat boy or a bandage girl. Although with slightly less. Prowess. We can't all be meat boys and bandage girls. Okay, I just did that. Oh, well. More pheromones. There you go. Whoa. You shot me. Bastard. Still got my eternal heart, though. Excuse me? I'm pretty sure I pheromones the shit out of you, motherfuckers. 
We do have uh, the wafer, don't forget, so all our damage is going to be half a heart. But I did lose my eternal heart, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we did not, by the way, fight chaos. Chaos? Uh, conquest. In case you didn't notice, nor did we get to deal with the devil because I took so much damage. You expect it, uh, to be honest. When you start setting up a run which is just a shitload of red hearts, you kind of expect. Oh, you weren't dead. Fair enough. You expect the runs where you get hit in the red hearts. Oh, I've got hiccups. You get expect a run where you get hit in the red hearts a lot. Yeah, sort of seemed like a reasonable place to find a secret room. Oh, green. Hello. Bye. Where did that bomb come from? Pretty sure it wasn't one of mine because it wasn't, you know, black. It wasn't chocolate milk color. Dark brown. Bombs are pretty powerful. They just have to hit. I mean, we don't have to do a room if we don't want to. This is Sheol, not the dark room. And that, um... That Bumbo baby has actually turned out to be reasonably useful because he's destroying those things that I have to work to hit with timing. Uh oh, let's open. Doing a number on it. It's going to be very helpful on these sons of a bitch. Oh, he just drops bombs, does he? That's uh, a bit difficult, but okay. Yeah, he just randomly drops bombs, doesn't he? That's. I hope they don't hurt me. <laughs> I never got the pyromaniac that I asked for. Excuse me. I think I. I ordered the pyromaniac with extra fries. One or two should not be a challenge, especially not with that beefcake running around like that. Oh yeah, that does that. I forgot. Can we open it again? I should be pick. Uh, I should be letting you pick those up. Get the greeds! Get the greeds! <laughs> They're the ones that hurt! Uh, so are those. Oh, no. oh yeah, Midas Touch, of course. If we hadn't taken Little Baggy... Which, of course, we didn't know we were taking, otherwise I definitely would not have taken it. I mean, why do I need the coins for at this stage? That thing clearly feasts on them. Health down. Health up. Very well. Oh. Okay. Go then. Yeah, you can have it. Take it. Ah, you dick. Come on, it's been 40 minutes. Nearly there, though, I think. Uh, this is clearly not the way out, on account of how it can't be. Second hand extended stat effect time. Okay. That could be good. Any red hearts now? Good. I think that thing can see the invisible enemies as well, which is super useful. So I guess this means things are slower for longer when uh when our build Gish shot hits him. You go and deal with that. If you don't mind. It's a second pheromones pill. We know the secret room is not there because we already found the secret room. Please. Good. Staying at a half heart interval is not necessarily bad at all because, of course, we have the wafer. So every other hit is a half heart interval. Having a spirit heart in and of itself is not that valuable, but it's just more survivability at this stage. Here's our boss, that was a lucky guess. Help! Ooh, okay. I was kind of counting on some of them being slow when I did that particular manoeuvre. Or well, I was sort of taking into account that some of them would be slow, and I don't know how I didn't get hit there. But we'll just take it as done. Right. Satan. We'll use our actual bombs. Okay. <laughs> that was a good start. Concentrate on uh, the Fallen because we've got 
Oh, Bumbo baby down there. Bumbo friend? Helping us out with the, the riffraff of your things. The ads, I suppose you would call them. And now we just run around shooting battles. Because he's going to land behind us. And then we probably just take a bit of damage from the occasional fly. Oops, shit. So as long as our... Yeah. As long as our friend there helps. We actually took no damage on the Satan fight. Despite Epic Fetus. And I'm hoping there's an update to this... A colorblind mod to fix that particular effect at the end there. Dark room, right? These are going to be possibly useless. Possibly useful. We'll take that. This is a range down, which actually I'm going to take because I'm sick of range overshooting down. everything. Take another pretty fly. I don't think it does anything. Uh, fourth pretty fly? Pretty sure it does nothing. There were some theories once upon a time that it uh, just made them slightly bigger. Pretty sure that's not true. These uh, greeds can go fuck themselves then. At least the thing about bombs is that they hit more than one thing. And they, um, we have got piercing shots. Which, uh, actually, now I think about it, piercing shots has been more of a problem than it has been a benefit. But probably don't want that just yet. We may come back for it if we take some silly damage. Oh, that was silly. Yeah, Chubb just won't eat spectral bombs, which is interesting. Uh, not spectral bombs, but piercing bombs. I assume that's always true, rather than just in this specific case. Because these are, of course, piercing and spectral bombs, and these fucking things are leaving creep all the time, not just when they charge. Which is a douchebag move. Hey, gumbo baby. Whoa. You're dead yet? Yeah, good. Man, having to kill one thing last is a pain in <laughs> Might as well take it, right? Do a small room. Uh, I regret this. Just, just take damage. To hell with it. <laughs> help, help. <laughs> Let the gumbo baby pick up the trash. The, the coins. Take the coins. I don't know why I deserved um, an extra charge on my bean. But I'll take it. That was a very good Gurdy fight, considering what Gurdy fights are normally like. Yeah, sure. Maybe we'll get lucky with a super secret room just before the boss fight. Careful there. Another spider there! Spiders are really hard to see on the dark room. Don't know if you've noticed, because, you know, people at home are obviously not looking at the video. That one dropped a red chest. That was nice. I think the second hand has also been very useful for us. It's extended stat effect time is actually very helpful. Because it means things stay slower for longer and I can hit them with the damn bombs. Now, don't forget. Cannot bomb your way out of uh, out of rooms. Nah. The dark room or the chest. If you're stuck in them. You have to find them. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's no better or worse than the bean. Do you get any better if you pick up more coins? I don't actually know. Is this as good as you get? You, you deal with that, I'll deal with this. That's fucking teamwork, Kyle. How the hell am I going to get rid of that tier? By it being extremely slow, apparently, is my go-to there. I've never seen this before. So I took it. You want to make something of it? So I'm guessing the boss fight is this way. Yeah. Oh shit. Everything died. No, it didn't work. Although it did do a considerable amount of damage because rather than there being one with a large amount of health, there's a lot with a small amount of health. Each. 
So I did damage to all of them. I was therefore considerably more effective. Right, we have made it to the land fight despite my sandbagging. Don't die. We have got pheromones. I wonder whether it will attack itself. That wasn't great. We've got this uh, this helper as well, who seems to be doing a great job at having sustained damage on the thing. Uh, with which I am pleased. Let's use pheromones now, see if it does damage. I think it is attacking itself. Ow! Stop! Oh, and of course we've got the wafer, which I've been harping on about all game. We've done it! We've actually won this! And I took damage at the end. Okay. Terrible run. I freely admit. 1772nd. Pretty bad. We know how well we can do. But we got to the end of it. What a palaver. Am I right? What a palaver. Uh, not getting to boss rush probably did us a lot of... of a disbenefit. It was a disadvantage, definitely. Certainly not being able to get to Hush instead. So I would like to have maybe not picked up the shitty thing that ruined our amazing blank card thing going on. But we learned about a few new items. I don't know what Serpent's Kiss does. Maybe Poison Tears? I don't know. Well, there we have it. Here we are again for another... Prepared for the next daily. Let's see how we did on... Oh god. Fine, internet. I've not entered. I know. Yet. <laughs> I've not entered yet. So Thursdays, 1693. I can't remember which one that was. I think 394 was the amazing... Lost room? Anyway. There's our positions. I hope you did better than me. And I hope you do better than me on this one. But until next time, thanks for watching. See you then.